Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ori, and welcome back to EU4 and the Manly Man campaign, where we are playing as none other than the Mighty Man and going for the Empire of Man achievement, which requires us to own all of the islands in the world. And the added stipulation, of course, is that we can only own islands. And we can't even have subjects on the mainland, so that makes this uh, all the more interesting, in my opinion. So, last episode. Oh, we got things sorted diplomatically. We got the alliance with France. We got the alliance with Cleves. And now we have uh, come roaring back into Ireland with a vengeance. We are sieging down Tyrone because Scotland declared war on Ulster, which brought Tyrone in. And uh, yeah, yeah, now we're going to get our cores back. We're sieging the capital here. I think they'll be able to uh, piece Tyrone out pretty quickly overall. And then, yeah, we're going to A, get our core back, and B, completely annex Tyrone. Just because we need every little advantage we can get at this point. There's absolutely no reason for us to not just fully annex Tyrone here. I think we'll easily be able to do so. And grant Monopoly charge to the uh, burgers again, which makes them loyal. Fantastic. Oh, that extra 5% for meritocratic recruitment is actually really nice. I didn't even think about that, honestly. That is spectacular. Why are you guys why are you guys hiding? I don't know. I have no idea why they're hiding, but whatever. Let's get let's just save up some money, honestly. We could hire some advisors right now, which wouldn't be a terrible idea by any stretch of the imagination, but I think I just want to save up some money. We're gonna save up some well, actually, let's hire an admin advisor. I think that is going to be a pretty good idea because we are going to be needing admin very shortly. Siege is done. Fantastic. We'll, we'll pull these two ships out. Um, I'm actually going to fully retreat here. No. Oh, wait. No, there's more ships there than mine. I'm just worried that we're going to lose some cogs. Ooh. Ooh, we didn't lose our cogs, fortunately. That was kind of scary. Kind of scary, honestly. We do have a heavy ship about to... Well, I say about to finish. We do have a heavy ship close to finishing. So if we declare this war too, how many enemies would we be looking at? Because Tyr Connell's there with 6k. And then what does Clan Ricard have? Let's pull this up, actually. Because we're rivaling Clan Ricard. They only have 5k. Hmm... No, I think for now we need to just kind of uh, wait until this war with Tyrone is over. Wait until uh, a peace is reached here, because we do have to be able to go down and get our uh, core back. That is the war goal, after all. And then I think we can go ahead and possibly do that, as far as uh, <clears throat> declaring the war on Connacht and Tyr Connell goes. Of course, we're going to need to... Um, of course, we're obviously going to need to um, wait a little bit. Although now... Ah, there we go. Fantastic. Put our fleet away. And we are going to just be quick about this. So that, uh, Tyr Con uh, so that Tyrone can't get any troops up and on the go. Which is very nice for us overall. Let's see. Yep, it's just us against uh, Tyrone at this point. Tyrone is dead. One, two, three, four, five provinces. Hooray! And we're killing somebody that could even be involved in could potentially even be involved in this coalition. A hundred ducats. Oh, absolutely! Yes, we have done it. We have done it. We're back in Ireland. Mm, we are back. Of course, we're making uh, Connacht into a state. We've reclaimed the core, after all. Let's go ahead and uh, core all of this up. Let's see. Mission-wise, we've gotten Expand Man. We have gotten Expand Man. So let's get that three free development in Man itself. Now, I think I will actually get a claim. Hmm. We are spying on Scotland. Now let's let's get the claim on let's get a claim on Westmarch, I guess, make use of what spy network we've made. But I think we're also gonna go ahead and get a spy network going here against Sligo, first of all. Oh, that is so nice to see. 
finally back in Ireland. It did take a little while longer than I anticipated, but we're back. We have come roaring back into Ireland overall, which is just amazing. So I think now is probably a pretty good time to do this. I wonder where their army is. Right there. 5k versus 9k. Actually, I think we can go up to 10k now. Absolutely, we can go up to 10k. Let us get up to that 10k army. We've lost conquest against Clan Ricard. I don't care. We have, um... We have Reconquest, which is far, far better. So let's seek support of the clergy. Once again, I think we might actually throw them some land. Yeah, I think we will throw them Limerick again. Just for now. Partially because I want that admin. Actually, mainly because I want that admin. Let's go ahead and get another five Papal Influence. Uh, we could establish the New World mission, but I think I'm just going to pick up the Inquisitor. We'll get 150 admin out of this. Absolutely, I will take that. Thank you. Let's go ahead and pay our loans off. No reason to have those floating around anymore. And let's build our very first building. It's got to be the tax building, because that's 0.4 ducats a month, and man. It's got to be the tax building. That is the first building we have actually built in this campaign. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy to think about, actually. Scotland, I will give you military access, but I am about to declare another war, so... Yeah. As soon as, where's the heavy ship? 20 days. We'll pull the, uh, we'll pull this fleet back to man. Actually, no, we'll pull it to Limerick. We'll grab the heavy ship and then run over here and blockade this because we are going to need a little assistance getting this siege done. This is a tier 3 fort or a level 3 fort after all. Let's see, was it a good point? It was a good point. Got me some military points, so absolutely it was a good point. These guys still have Miltech 8. Um, I would love to get Tyr Connell in on this. So maybe we wait until this siege finishes. That's a, that's a decent idea, actually. We'll wait until the siege of Tyr Connell finishes. See what uh, happens there. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to get pieced out soon. The siege should be over rel uh, disease outbreak. I say this siege should be over relatively quickly, but uh, I guess we'll have to find out. Because I definitely wouldn't mind picking these guys up as far as a uh, another province goes. It's 8 dev. It's Irish. It's in a, it's in, um, it's in a state we're going to be, be making, obviously. So, I mean, we're making every single state here in Ireland um, into a proper state. And then we're definitely going to be embracing Irish culture. Absolutely, we will. I don't. I'm pretty sure we can't embrace it now. Yeah, we need at least 20. That's. I'm pretty sure that's what the uh, cutoff is. We have a colonist. Let's go ahead and make use of him here in Limerick for a little while. That's cool. All right. So now can we do it? Tyrconnell will join. What I'm gonna do actually here is send one unit directly up to Tyr. Uh, to Tyr Connell, and then we're just going to run straight over and prevent them from uh, creating troops. No, not Tyr Connell. That would be suicide. Uh, retake Cork. Go. Uh, you need a military leader. I know that slows down our tech a skosh, but I need somebody with maneuver to get there quickly. So let's just go straight for the throat here. See if we can get them. Fantastic. Annihilated the... Um, Annihilated the army there. Let's go ahead and make sure we uh, do get this captured. I think uh, Clan Ricard is probably going to get one troop out from the looks of it. Which could be a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this stack. We'll run over here with the cav attached. We'll pick up the cav and cork, obviously. But we'll run over here and make sure they can't actually train troops. And then I think we'll rotate up, siege down, um, we'll siege down Donegal. And then, um, yeah, that's the plan. We'll go siege down Donegal. And then we will move back down here to begin sieging this province. For now, we can just leave these troops here to siege. I think that's going to be okay. Let's make use of our navy, shall we? We're being blockaded right now, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. East, whatever. Let's go ahead and statify this. No reason not to. 
get as much as we can out of it. Let's go ahead and uh, kill off the Nate. Nope, we can't. That's fine. They've just bailed. We'll just go ahead and blockade this, speed this siege up in uh, Donegal, which is absolutely fine. Oh, ye of little faith with this campaign. Ye of little faith. I'll be honest, I actually was, um, I wasn't sure we were going to be able to pull this off either, but we did it. We have done it. I don't know how, but we did it. I know we're behind on Diplotech already, which does kind of suck, especially since we have taken exploration, but I think we do have to go ahead and accept Irish. We could flip to Irish and form Ireland, but... Eh, we're gonna stick with the man tag. There's no reason to not stick with the man tag. It's pretty unique, after all, in the uh, grand scheme of things. So who's Scotland still at war with? Augsburg and Memmingen. Ah, I guess he just can't get down there to get those sieges from the looks of it. Hey, look at that! See, that's one of the that's the great thing about using this uh, colonist. We just got a free point of development in Limerick. Let a, let's stop paying. We, we can't really afford to run the colonist currently, which is a bit of a shame, but what can you do? Not a lot. Let's see. Uh, we're not going to meddle in the affairs of the clergy. Mainly because I don't really want to spend the money on meddling in the affairs of the clergy currently. Oh, that, that uh, church and man is just making us... It's going to make the money back super quickly. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, Siege of Donegal is down. Let's go ahead and annihilate this little fleet. Should be just fine. The heavy ship did some serious work there. Their fleet is in full retreat. So now we come down here and begin this siege. I think we can go ahead and piece Tyr Connell out. Yep, let's go ahead and make that piece. We uh, might as well. Another province. Excellent. I know it will cost double to core this, but it'll turn into a full core as soon as we um, finish it. So that is the bonus of that, I suppose. All right, let's get the blockade going. This is going to take a fair old bit of time to get this siege done, but we are going to be getting our core and cork back. And we've conquered most of Ireland at this point, which is pretty sweet, not going to lie. Scotland will accept this, so I think the next hurdle is going to be dealing with Scotland. Although, this is actually a good way to fight Scotland without having to fight France. And that's definitely a good thing, because I don't. We, there's no way we could take France on right now. Let's improve uh, with Cleves. I will take that 50 admin, even though I know we need to uh, control inflation. We did just spend a fair bit of admin already. Pretty sure, yeah, this is only a 4 dev province. So, these two are going to be pretty cheap overall to core. Cork is free, obviously, because it is already a core. Oh, super pleased with how uh, things have played out overall. Once again, ye of little faith. But, at the same time, I'll be honest, I really didn't think this campaign was going anywhere. I thought we were just dead. I thought we were just straight up dead. But we saved it. We have salvaged it for the most part, which is pretty sweet, not going to lie. There we go. Siege is done. Let's go ahead and kill off this little fleet. Come on. Give me some ships. Capture a ship. Come on. Yeah, what did we capture? Oh, we captured a cog. Excellent. How damaged is it? Pretty undamaged overall, actually. To the main Clan Ricard fleet, we might as well go engage it and see if we can get some ships out of it. We did lose something. Let's see. We captured one ship. We lost a light, but captured one. So, uh... I guess? Did we? I don't know. Either way, Clan Ricard's dead now. So, let's pull back from France, I think, is going to be our best bet. And of course, yum, 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 give me this lovely land. No one cares. Sligo is basically going to die in the next war. Oh, look at that. We have conquered Ireland. We have conquered Ireland. Now, I don't want to rival either of these. We can't rival either of our available rivals because they're both allied to France. And that's what sunk us previously. 
in my opinion. So we will have to kind of play this one by ear. Oh, what is our force limit at now? Should be 11? 12. Oh, that's sick. Let's just go for two more infantry for right now. I think that's going to be uh, better for us overall. We'll get the bark back out protecting trade in the North Sea. As soon as it's repaired, of course. And we are still making money, which is awesome. We'll leave this fort in Desmond for the time being. Until the uh, devastation comes down a little bit. And then we'll more than likely get rid of it. Because I don't see any reason for us to keep it around. There's Miltech 9. Fantastic. Miltech 9 is a very important milestone. Getting tactics and whatnot out of it. Good stuff. Now, we're definitely not ready to attack France and Sligo yet. So what we can actually do is drill the troops. And it has been a long time since we've actually done any army drilling. We're going to fire our advisor for the time being to make a bit more money overall. Keep that cash flow incoming, which is fantastic. At this point, we really just have to deal with separatists. Which I, I don't think is going to be much of an issue overall. But if it comes down to it, we can just bump up autonomy everywhere. Because we do have the government reform that helps our autonomy drop even quicker. We're down to 4.42 a month though. So I'm kind of glad we do have that autonomy change. Because this is already down at 36%. There we go. Donegal is cored. Spectacular. Now what? That's the question. We're alive. We can build uh, We can build boats. So I think we definitely should build boats. We can afford to build three, get ourselves up to four in total, which is good. Yeah, I think we'll definitely get some more. Uh, we'll definitely get another heavy built for sure. We do have cork once again, which is great. Of course, I th we got to throw that straight to the burgers. We'll get, yeah, we'll give the burgers cork, partially because of the autonomy, but uh, that should help overall with trade as well. Wait for it. There we go. Oh dear, royal marriage with France expired. Can't be having that now, can we? So I think our next step is really going to, well, actually, one thing I'm curious, this is still broken. <laughs> That's still broken, sadly. Oh well. Oh, well. I guess it's not too big of an issue. I usually check our check the overall income up here anyway, so it's not that bad. We could give some land out to the... No oh. France joined, right? Cleves joined. I think England joined, too. Yeah, England's definitely in on this. All right, that is terrifying. Well, uh, France, I need you to go kick Castile's ass, basically. Um... <laughs> oh, God, if it's not one thing, it's something else in this campaign. But we do actually have a bit of a power base now. We do have a skosh of a power base. Finally. So I will take that overall. I mean, we can't really deal with the English Navy. I don't see that being super viable overall. We don't have any of our uh, naval ideas rolling yet. I mean, if we had this 15% morale of navies, we might be fine, but we might not. That it, That's uh, another possibility as well. I'm gonna catch this cog and wreck it real quick. Nope, we're going to just instantly bail back to man and save the fleet. Save the heavy. Good, we saved the heavy. We need imported iron, military, or mercantilism? Let's get some mercantilism going, actually, because we don't have any. I think we don't have any mercantilism. At least any decent amount. Let's double check what actually that got us to. Yeah. We might have gotten one before, so, because the base is 10. The base is 10. For now, we're not going to get military access with Scotland. England is landing in Cork, which means they're going to have to go siege Desmond. Which I am completely fine with, in all honesty. But they're going to go de-siege Leinster, I guess. 
Um, I don't want to make the nobles mad, but I definitely don't want to lose admin right now either. I think we have to go ahead and hire a military advisor. Do we go for the fort defense guy? I don't think so. Well, I think for now, actually, we will go with Mr. Fort Defense Guy. Just to make it take even longer for England to siege everything back. So we have a chance to get some cash. Um, I am actually going to take a pair of loans here. Mainly to be able to uh, fire this guy. And, yeah, we're going to fire both of these guys and see if we can get a military-related advisor. Yeah, we just have to basically keep England off... Um, the island. We have to keep England out of Ireland as much as possible. As much as possible. Now the question is, what's their mil tech? Nine. I am super glad we stayed caught up on military tech now. Super glad. Eventually we're going to be building a, um, a proper navy to be able to defend ourselves. But for now, we do have to just make it work with what we have. Let's get that discipline advisor. That's a bit more helpful. Let's check uh, morale. We, we'll uncheck rivals. Uh, let's check army quality. Allies, war enemies, obviously. So we're sitting pretty good. We have better uh, morale than England, actually. We have a far superior general here. So let's go engage the English army, actually. We have to roll like an absolute boss, which seems to be happening, especially in the fire phase. Nice. Not so much in the shock phase. Did win that battle. Let's go ahead and hunt down this English army. Should be able to pretty much annihilate them here. There we go. Yeah, we are going to kill the English army, which is cool. There we go. Fantastic. That gets us some good war score overall. Definitely gets us some good war score. France, why are you going after Naples? You've, oh, and they're going after some of this land, too, which isn't terrible, which isn't terrible. We're going to have to fight this to a white piece. I think we're going to have to try and fight this to a white piece, which is going to be pretty rough overall. I definitely think it's viable, though. England's landing more troops, which is completely fine. We're going to actually retreat all the way up here to Connacht, so we don't have to fight the English army again. We did annihilate the first English army that came after us, which is which is fantastic. We're going to need to recover a little bit, which is okay. I think, uh, where is England headed? Looks like he's headed to Desmond to start sieging that. So to make it take even longer, we're going to go ahead and turn on the local defensiveness edict. I do wish we could actually um, pop out with the navy. Well, you know what? Let's roll for an admiral. And of course, we do have to bring uh, Mr. Swerdfair back into the fold. It has been a little while. Uh, there's a T in there. There we go. It has been a little while since he's had a military commission. 114, we'll take that. Four light ships versus um, one light, one heavy, and uh, a grand total of 10 cogs. We'll actually try and get our light ships over there as well. Super quickly. Nope. Maybe if you sail like this, actually... We must protect our trade. Or competition. I'm going to get competition is good for everyone. Okay, did knock out one of them. We're going to have to retreat immediately, but we did knock out one English ship without losing any of our own. So that's fine. I think this light ship died. Yep. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. We do need to reinforce the army. Let's recall the diplomat from Cleves. I think, honestly, we're going to be just fine. I really do think we're going to be fine. As long as we can deal with the Engl the um, armies that England sends our way, I think this is actually a fantastic opportunity to even take land from England. It just really depends on how well France and Cleves can handle Castile, Aragon, and Naples. I don't think it's going to be much of an issue, though, overall. I really don't. It looks like France is about to go smack Naples around a little. I would like it if the French army would stay a bit more together and focus the Castilian armies down. But uh, I guess that's something we're going to have to worry about in the next episode because it is time for us to go ahead and wrap things up for today. So as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. 
If you're enjoying the series still, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. If you would like to help support the channel monetarily, please do take a moment to check out the Patreon, it is very much appreciated, and if you would like to join a growing community over on Discord, there is also a link to that down below. As always, my name is Ori, I do hope you have a fantastic day, and we will catch you in the next one.